If you're studying for the Cisco CCNA, you really need to have a home lab. The key to passing any networking certification is to build yourself a home lab. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to build yourself a home lab. The first one is going to be the preferred way where I will show you what equipment to get and how to save a lot of money on it. The second way, I will show you actually how to build a home lab completely for free. So stay tuned because all that is coming up after this. I get the question all the time, how do I build a home lab and what equipment I recommend getting? And the main thing I tell everyone is you do not need to break the bank to get a really good home lab. That will last you a long time. Another thing I frequently get asked about is these pre-built home labs you see on Amazon and eBay. And my biggest advice to you guys is to stay away from those. Most of those sellers buy the gear that I'm actually gonna be recommending to you used for like, 70 to 100 bucks total pack repackage them and sell them for five to eight hundred dollars as a set you can build a good physical home lab for 50 bucks and if you really want to go all out maybe a hundred you're probably saying okay then what gear should i buy now if you're working with a super tight budget i'd recommend buying one to two routers such as the cisco 871w because in this single box you get not only a built-in switch you can also get it with built-in wi-fi now keep in mind this is not going to be blazing fast but it's going to get you familiar with the technology another great cisco router is the cisco 1750 These are nice and compact and quiet routers which when you start getting into the bigger gear they can get a bit noisy if you're looking to step up into something that you might actually see in a production environment i would recommend getting the cisco 2600 series routers these are something that you still might see in an enterprise environment i actually got three of these because i got a killer deal on ebay speaking of there's links in the description to all of these on sites like amazon and ebay remember you don't need to spend a lot you know spend anywhere from 20 to 40 dollars per piece of equipment okay so so far i've just talked about routers but if you're looking to do a full lab setup i would recommend getting at least one or two switches on top of at least two routers when it comes to switches my first recommendation is the cisco 3500 series because it is so versatile and there is a bunch of them out there but if that's starting to break the bank for you you could definitely go with the cisco 2950 it'll work just fine and keep in mind you don't need the 48 port models many of these come in a 24 port model and that will save you some money as well also make sure you don't forget to get a serial port adapter and a console cable so you can actually connect to these switches once you get them after that if you still have a little bit of cash in your pocket it is really nice to get some of these one foot ethernet cables so you don't have all these long cables dangling out of the front of your lap also while you're out there don't forget to pick up a lab guide book there is several different books out there that will actually give you lamps to work through on this equipment now in the beginning of the video i mentioned i was going to show a free way to build a home lab for that we are going to be using a program called packet tracer packet tracer is a network simulator put out by cisco and you can actually download it free from their website website. Packet Tracer can do nearly everything you can do with a physical lab, but if you have the money, I highly recommend building a physical lab because there is something to be said about plugging in a switch and watching it boot. Feeling those ethernet cables click into their sockets. I feel when you can actually put your hands on the gear that you're going to be not only tested on, but you're going to see in the field, you retain the knowledge a lot better. Now, I'm not going to walk you through setting up Packet Tracer because it is fairly self-explanatory. Now, if you do go the Packet Tracer route, I'd highly recommend picking up a good lab guide book, such as Todd Lamley's CCNA Study Guide. But with that said, there's several YouTube channels out there that actually have CCNA lab guides out there, such as Jeremy's IT Lab or Keith Barker. Go make sure and check those out. I will link to those channels in the description as well. Now, I'm assuming since you're watching this video, you're looking to advance your career into a networking position or at least beyond the help desk. And if that's the case, you're gonna need more than certifications to advance your career in tech. In this three-part series, we talk about the skills needed to advance beyond an entry-level position and into those administrative level roles. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and until next time, keep learning.